from that moment. You control the conversation. When you come in like, hey, I'm here to help you. Hey, I'm here to empower you. Even though you have a ton to learn from the other person, you're learning how to frame that relationship right away. I got a real quick solo episode for you, and it's all around how to create win-win relationships in your life and in your business. Here's the thing that I see most people do. Most people find a person in their network and they see, oh, this person has X, Y, and Z that I want. And so they go to this person and they go and get X, Y, and Z. When if you want to be a person of influence and you want to have an extremely lucrative network, what you need to do is go to the person and find out what they need. Hey, what is your goal? in the next 60 days, in the next 365 days. And find out how your skills, how your talents, how your services, your network can help that person achieve their own goals. What happens is you'll get X, Y, and Z, right? Just by (laughs) contagion, you'll get it. And you now elevate yourself as a person of influence in that person's life because you helped them get where they want to go. I am getting back from this mastermind where there were a lot of amazing people. And, you know, anytime you leave a mastermind, you want to make as many connections as you can afterwards, right? So you're setting up 15 minute meetings with, with all the people that you've met or people you didn't get to meet. and. On those meetings, the people that win are the ones that say, hey, what do you have going on? What are your goals? How can I help you? And, you know, you control the conversation from that moment. You control the conversation. When you come in like, hey, I'm here to help you. Hey, I'm here to empower you. Even though you have a ton to learn from the other person, you're learning how to frame that relationship right away. and. I always go into every conversation, not that I'm smarter, right? Not that I don't have anything to learn from this person. I always go into it knowing I have a ton to learn, but I always go into it with a heart of service. I truly care about what that person has going on and how I can help them achieve it. And so I will literally take notes while I'm talking to somebody and rack my brain, say, who do I know that can help this person achieve their goals? What can I do with my email list? What can I do on my podcast to help this person achieve their goals? So I want you to start being servant focused. It's such a biblical principle, right? It's love your neighbor, help your neighbor out. That's one thing I'm also taking away from this last mastermind is that so many of those people, there's a lot of win-win relationships and a lot of them do business together. So I really left inspired thinking I need to do more business and more collaborations, be an affiliate for more people that I believe in and help them get their message out. So I'm really excited to bring amazing, amazing, amazing people on the podcast that I know all of you will absolutely love. You will learn so much from. So really make sure to have your notifications on for all of the new interviews that will be coming your way. I think we have over 50 people scheduled for the podcast and they're all in the real estate venture capital space. And so if you're interested in just learning how these great minds think about business and being expanded in that way, you're going to love these next couple of interviews. Well, couple, there's like 50 of them. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening in. Remember, go out there and think how can I create a win-win relationship?